It's not just hot out there, it's record-breaking hot. This spring was the hottest since the government began keeping records in 1895. 150 million Americans have spent some portion of the past week under a heat warning. In tiny Norton, Kansas last week, it hit 118 degrees, hotter than Death Valley. I don't think we've seen any conditions like this before. Climate scientist Kevin Trenberth is with the federally funded National Center for Atmospheric Research. He shared the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize for his work on climate change. Trenberth says that for most of the last century, record high and low temperatures were about even. But so far this year, there have been 15,055 record highs, but only 1,343 record lows. That ratio of about 11 to 1, Trenberth says, is some of the clearest evidence yet of climate change. Look out the window, and right now I think you can see uh, climate change in action. Uh, there's a comp component of climate change to the weather that we're seeing, and it is, you know, we're breaking records. He says the searing heat is fueling New Mexico's and Colorado's biggest wildfires ever and is contributing to drought conditions that now cover more than half the nation. No one can say whether climate change caused last Friday's ferocious storm that left more than four million people without power, but Trenberth says it probably made it worse. The environment in which all of the storms occur nowadays, all of the weather that occurs nowadays, is simply different than it used to be, you know, 30 or more years ago because of climate change. Not all scientists agree. Climate change skeptics argue that too much is being read into short-term data and that extreme weather events usually even out over time and don't turn into major trends. But a large majority of climate scientists say climate change is real. And Scott, if they're right, that means the extreme weather is only going to get worse. Chip, thank you.